The second prophecy is channeled by Linda Gibson on August 31st, 1981 at a Virginia Beach, Virginia channeling session. Virginia Beach is where the Edgar Casey A.R.E. is located, Association of Re Realization and Enlightenment. The conductor is Linda Gordon. The title of the channeling, John Peniel. Question one. We come seeking information about a reading concerning John Peniel. I hold in my hand two readings given through another channel on January 24th, 1981. Do you find the content of these two readings to be true? Do you have comments about these two readings? If you do not agree in the content of these two readings, would you comment on that as well? Answer. Yes, we have the information and we agree for the most part with what has been given in those readings. There are also a number of things we wish to give concerning the entity and the movement known as John of Peniel or John Peniel. First, as we have spoken about the Christ consciousness, the Antichrist and Armageddon, we would also speak of John of Peniel in the same way. For though he is a person, he is also an experience. Those who have opened themselves up to the energies rising through the chakras would be those then in whom the pineal, pineal gland would represent the highest manifestation of spirit in the body while the body is still in the earth plane. And he who would do the work of or put into manifestation the spirit of pineal or that which is hidden would be that one in each particular person, that consciousness, which would be the consciousness of John of Peniel. And this happens in various stages at various times in the life of most dedicated seekers. And this is happening even more at the present. So when that one who is John Peniel would come, he would be recognized by those who have opened that chakra, that gland, that spiritual purpose, an awakening within their lives. Now, as to that one known as John Peniel, if you would truly understand what has been given before and the reasons for his return to the earth sphere, you must then read and endeavor to understand that book of Revelation. And we have given this before. For this would concern St. John or John the Beloved, or those that were given to each of the churches which of course would maintain or have to do with each of the glandular centers within the body. For though this was written and though it is accepted on the physical level has much to do then with the spiritual centers of the body and how right it would be, how true that that one who received the revelation in the beginning would then come back to see in the physical for that revelation to take place or take into physical manifestation with the changing of the world. As he has given in that book of Revelation, even so come Lord Jesus. He would be here to pave the way or to awaken the eyes of those who would understand the Christ consciousness returning to the plane. He was given this purpose thousands of years ago and has returned for this purpose. Came and went and is even now readying the self, for it will not be long before he would be known within the earth plane. We would give from these planes then, that in the next five to six years, author's note, this reading was channeled in August of 1981. This leads up to the harmonic convergence event in August 1987 as the first event. The events which would herald his awakening as that who he is what he would do would begin to occur. We would give here also, and we have given before, that those who have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, those who would hold the earth in high regard, would be given one more chance, one more opportunity, one more stepping stone, not only within the personal life, but within the outward physical life, to manifest such changes upon the earth plane as would take place in order to help mankind on a greater scale. 
Those who will come in contact with him, as will all of these here gathered, would understand when they do come in contact that this is the one who has been spoken of. This is the one who will carry with him the secret of the Hall of Records. This is the one who has been sent by God in order that no man would truly perish, who has turned their eyes to the Father. And I'm just going to make note right here now, mother. They leave out the mother completely and because why? Because the mother birthed everything. The cosmic mother birthed everything you see and don't see out of her cosmic vagina. She is known as prime source creator, great white buffalo calf pipe woman, spider woman, and a bunch of other awesome cool names that we love and adore like Marilyn Monroe. Okay. That's another segment. This is the one who has been sent by God in order that no man would truly perish who has turned the eyes to the father, mother, the mother, father, God. This one has great spiritual purpose. Understand also, as we have given, that if each one individually is not striving toward this highest of ideals within his own mind, within his own heart, within his own spirit, then would not recognize that one when he appeared. There is one whom we have spoken to. Author's note, this one spoken of is Archangel Michael, who we will have much to do with the appearance in the physical plane, the understanding of this one, author's note, John Peniel, and the work which he has to do. He, author's note, John Peniel, will bring back tales when he comes from that trip having to do with this one, author's note, Archangel Michael, and with what needs to be done, be this one, and what needs to be done, be this one. Author's note, John Peniel. Um, now it has been given in prophecies that there would be left in the sky certain signs coming to bear then, to understand that the changes within the earth plane would be imminent. All those who would turn their eyes to the sky, to the heavens, would be advised of these changes within themselves. For as the earth is an entity, so is each body an entity. So is the universe an entity, and so is this particular galaxy or solar system. And as was written long ago, as above, so below. And that would also mean as below, so above. So you would see then the earth as an entity with the chakra points, with the balance, with the need for cleansing. Repeated again in the race of man, repeated again then in the heavens. As these things prepare themselves in the heavens, Man can take that which he can see above and that which he can feel from below, feel is the key word there, and from vibration, and put these into practice in his or her own life. When that one spiritually awakens, or the coming again of that cycle which would herald the changing of man within the earth, would speak to those who are open to be spoken to, would bring to the earth the opportunity for change, for balance, for the manifestation of spirit within each and every particular one concerned with same. 